I just uh, really appreciate uh, the turnout tonight. I don't want to go without noticing those of you guys that traveled from Baton Rouge, Virginia Beach, Richmond, uh, Nashville. I mean, we've got people coming from all over the Southeast to be a part of this. And it just kind of shows how far we've come in the network of folks that are dedicated to the work we're doing. For those of you that are new here, the Good Samaritan Foundation uh, was founded back in 2009. Uh, we're a trust that's based on uh, charitable donations given to by people like yourself to, to support organizations. Uh, one of those organizations, as you see here, is the Charlotte Rescue Mission. And we've been blessed to be partners with these guys uh, really since the beginning. And uh, you can see, I mean, just the product of what they've done here in Charlotte, yeah, just in this building and, and the group that had was serving you dinner alone. Um, so it's just, it's been really great to see and, and develop those relationships with foundations. Uh, so vetting those partners, those charitable organizations was a big piece of what we do. And then again, developing the relationships with those organizations to maintain that and continually to uh, financially support them as we move forward. Tonight, 250 people will sleep under the roofs of Charlotte Rescue Mission in one capacity or another, recovering from a life of active addiction. What's very unique about us is we work from the inside out to address the root cause of why would somebody allow their life to cycle out of control. And in John chapter 6, is two days in the life of Jesus with the same crowd. On day one, what Jesus is saying is, I love you so much, I accept you just as you are. On day two, he's saying, I love you too much to leave you there. And that's the hard work of transformation that we do at Charlotte Rescue Mission. We have a crazy vision for the people that we want to serve. We want them to achieve their greatest God-given potential as if all the insanity, all the junk, all the abuse, all the trauma of their life never occurred. So how do we do all this? And I kind of got to let the cat out of the bag before. It's transformation. I have been, I had been using drugs and alcohol for about 22 years. I walked, I walked in, I was broken. I, I had a lot of shame and, and guilt. If I hadn't have came to Dove's Nest, I don't know where I would be. I have relationships now. My grandmother actually picks up the phone. She used to not pick up the phone for me at all, but she does now every day that I call her. She looks forward to my call. I have, I have relationships with my children, and it's just, it's really a blessing to me. And I'm going back to school for um, criminal justice and substance abuse. I just want to say thank you so much for having me here today, and I appreciate it. Uh, we're just really blessed to be able to give you guys this check in the amount of $25,000 this year. So thank you, yep. and thank you guys too. Each dollar that you can give to the Good Samaritan Foundation helps build that legacy that we can live, that we can leave, and will continue to give in perpetuity and continue to change lives like Casey, who you heard earlier tonight. And what's unique about the Good Samaritan Foundation is we are Christ-centered. You know, we don't do this so we can pat ourselves on the back. We do this for the glory of God and His kingdom.